So, great pleasure to be speaking with uh, Nikki and uh, John. Uh, you are both members of U3A. Now, some people might not know what U3A stands for. I mean, technically, it stands for the University of the Third Age. That's what the U3A really stands for, and that's what it was always called. But I think... Um, I can can ask John to sort of back me up on this. I think we, we're in the process of, of, of trying to change that image a little bit because the word university has, I suppose, connotations to people about learning, yes. which means that possibly they might think, ah, oh, that means I've got to sort of do a test and do a bit of assessment all that sort of thing and that might be that might be a little bit off putting so we've got a sort of newish strap line which is learn laugh and live so that is to to get across the idea that yes learning does take place because in an you know ideally learning takes place all the time whatever age we are but it is not learning in the sense that a lot of people remember oh at school I had to learn this and I had to remember that and I had to take an exam about that so yes. to get back to your question it does stand for the university of the third age but it is about type of learning that is fun and is is engaging and is meeting new people and not about Yes, and I understand. So it's really about sharing, isn't it? Giving back, I mean, that's part of it, isn't it? Um, it's a shared experience. I think that's it. And and it's all about keeping the body and the mind active. Yes. I think that uh, our parents um, retired and basically oh, that was oh. the end of it. But um, I think we're, we're younger in spirit than our parents were. And the U3A gives people an opportunity to... To keep learning if they want, but to keep active as well. Yeah. So is it a minimum? It is minimum... simply about studying. It, it's about taking part and yes. meeting people and enjoying life, basically. So is yes. there kind of like a minimum age before you can join? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there's no minimum age. It, it's people who are uh, no longer in work, uh, semi-retired, um, maybe have brought up a family and now they have time to spare. So we're we're quite an inclusive organisation, I think. Yes. So what so what drew you to U three A, Nikki? What was the attraction for you? Well, I haven't been in the area that long. I guess we came here in uh, eighteen, late eighteen. Um, I, I mean, I'd known of the U three A for for many many years, and never quite had the opportunity to sort of engage with it. And uh, uh, you know, both. Me and my husband said, "All oh, right, this is the opportunity now to, um, to 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 get going with this." So, yeah, it was it was it was um, interest. There were lots of groups that interested me, and uh, the, the idea of meeting new people it was a good yeah. way to get to know people. So that yeah. was a that a was good impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, John, have rather you? like rather like Nikki, um, I came to Evesham from a city that I'd lived in for seventy years. And I knew a lot of people. It was a strange experience to arrive in this part of the country and walk through the town and not be known. I was anonymous, <laughs> which was an unusual experience for me. Um, and the U3A has provided me such an opportunity, as Nikki said, to, to meet people, to join in. And one thing leads to another. You know, you join a group and you meet somebody and they introduce you to somebody else. And suddenly you have... Uh, not just a U3A life, but a social life as well. It's it's a great introduction to an area. Okay. So what subjects interest you, Nikki, in particular? Oh, well, I what am I part of? I'm part of a Tai Chi group, which is very good. That's very good for, for well, both mental and physical um, health. I am part of a Shakespeare group, which... Oh. Um, is, 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 is yeah very interesting for me I've had, again that's something I'm coming back to I had very early experiences of, of, of Shakespeare and um, it's nice to come back and revisit some of the plays and uh, read them and take part um, I'm part of a walking group 
which is which is very lively and uh that's another aspect of of the fitness and great you know great sort of social social chats go on on the walk you know um and <laughs> mindfulness i'm a part of a mindfulness group as well which is so i think it's yeah it's, it's quite a diverse we've got well i think we've got over 80 groups i think john haven't we, in, we uh, have, yeah, yeah. We have covering a- covering both um you know study and and relaxation um yeah. so i mean i'm um, a member of a quiz group, a group called Traveller's Tales. So we ask people who've got interesting stories to come and talk to us and share those with us. Uh, natural history group, um, we go up on nature walks, bird watching, um, listening to music. So sharing music with people, um, learning about new types of music, new tracks, new genres of music that I hadn't come across before yeah um yes yeah, so so that's that's your and then what about giving back i mean do you have any particular skills that you you've been able to give back to the group in your areas uh, i've traveled a lot for that that that's one thing so i've been able to share my my experience is with other people in turn and this is what the u3a is actually all about it's a shared learning experience yeah. So I've started this natural history group where we go out on rambles in the countryside. Some people know some things, some people know others. And so by going out and by talking to people, you you learn things, but you also help people by sharing the experiences and the knowledge that, that you have. I think that that's one of the essences of the U3A. Okay, Nikki? Yeah, so I, I agree with that. It's quite, it's quite a, it's, it's quite a, a sort of a bit of a hodgepodge in my case. I wouldn't say I'm a particular specialist, but I do enjoy contributing, you know, to the various groups. As I said I do have a, yeah, a fairly sort of good background in Shakespeare and can sort of discuss that. And then I've got a, you know, quite, a, quite, quite a lot to bring to the mindfulness group. And um, I mean, in, in terms of the walking group, well, there's all sorts of conversations go on. As you're wa- as you're walking along, you know it's um so yeah uh, there, there's a, there, there, there's a lot to bring and it, it, it comes it's quite it's surprising how much you you, you can mm. offer when once you you you, know, you sort of get going and and get, get to in, know and get to know people as well get to know people exactly yes, yeah the trust factor comes into its own then doesn't it yes well. yeah I think one of the things about both Nikki and I that when you um, gain something organisation you want to put something back into it. And we're both on the committee which organises events and helps to keep the U3A going. And I think that's an important thing. If you're enjoying an organisation and you get something from it, it's important to, to, to put something back. And that's my philosophy and probably Nikki's as well, I would think. Sure. Yeah, I think that's that's absolutely right. Yeah, so we both um, both contribute in that way. Yeah, so, so, so so if someone wants to join, they're listening to this conversation now. Um, of course they've got. Um, how would they go about joining? Presumably there is somewhere local to them, even more local, say, than Evesham is. Um, I just happen to be the membership secretary of the local. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> the right person here. <laughs> <laughs> There's handy. <laughs> uh, I think the, the, the thing to emphasise as well is that I mean, there are over a thousand U3As around the country. They're all regionally based. So wherever you live, you will have a U3A somewhere in your area. Yes. I think the easiest thing to do in terms of joining Evesham U3A or indeed any U3A, they will have websites. Go on to the website. Yes. Uh, there'll be a section there about joining. You can download an application form. There'll be an address um, to which it should be sent. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that other U3As would have Yes, the, yeah. the same, um, one in Old the same system. Well, just up the road, as it were. So the, the, yeah. there's a lot locally, I'm quite sure. Evesham U3 yeah. has a Facebook page as well, just, to, you are. just to add that. You see? You know, yeah. page, Not anonymous so. after all. Not anonymous. No. Out there on Facebook. There you are. There. There you are. Yeah. So now, um, how about some musical choices? I think I gave you a bit of a, you know, a bit of a choice here. Um, so who's going to go first? Go on, Nikki. Go on, Nikki. Go on. Wow, goodness me, this was a yeah, it's a hard, hard one, isn't it, to choose <laughs> two? My goodness me. Well, I'm I've I've chosen uh, number one is the, is the Pointer Sisters. Jump. Oh. 
my first one. Yep. Because you can get up and jump around to that. Yep. Wherever you are, doesn't matter, in the supermarket, in your group, wherever it is, it's, it's just a feel-good feel good music. Yep. And the other one is uh, Prokofiev, and it's the piano concerto number one. Oh. There we um, are, man. I thought um, yeah. that would give us something to search out and, um, and play. Any, any particular uh, performance in the piano concerto, or is that... Anybody? Oh, anybody I don't. You weren't remember. thinking of anybody in particular playing? No, no, I don't think so. No, so, I think they'll, they'll all be pretty good. I should think. I'm, I'm sure no, they will. They'll all know what they're doing. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe think. that's true. I believe that to be true. Oh, they'll know. So, so they'll know the right notes. So the, they'll play all the right notes in the and right, in order. right order. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Sense of humour is necessary as well as you, as you get older. Um, so that's the point of sisters and jump, and for coffee as kind of can choose and number one. Okay. Yeah, right. Thank you very much. Okay, how about you, John? Um, well, the first one is The Wind Beneath My Wings. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of versions. The one that I prefer is by Lee Greenwood. Lee Greenwood? If okay. not Bette Midler, but um, Lee Greenwood is the preferred I think, version. I think Bette Midler was the original. Mm. Was I think Lee Greenwood was the original, and then was Bette it? Midler recorded it, I think, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. okay. So oh. Lee Green oh, right, okay. Uh, okay. I think. Um, yeah, no matter. <laughs> I think that the, the, the reason I, I chose that, I was looking for something that, that might have been appropriate to the U3A and what, yeah, what we do. Yeah, yeah. And I think the wind beneath my wings, it, obviously the song is about a person, yeah, but I also yeah. think it, it could be used to describe people. Yeah. So, um, you know, there are a lot of um, big names, things that go on, but behind organizations behind people are a number of people working away and not having the glory or the recognition that they deserve so yes. the wind beneath the wind yeah yeah very good and the other one is one day like this by elbow mm -hmm. yeah. i won't sing it for you but if you listen to it it's quite inspirational okay. it's one day like this a year would see me right so it's all about you know this is fantastic you know there may be days that aren't fantastic, but if we concentrate on the ones that are, everything's going to be okay. Good, good. Well, good choices. So there we are. So it's been a delight to speak with you both. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us on uh, NCCR, North Cotswold Community Radio. Uh, mm. This programme is in the cooler um, and um, we'll be putting that out this, um, this Friday, 7 till 9. Yeah. So there you go. And then it's available, it'll be available on Mixcloud for several weeks thereafter. So I'll send you the link. Thank yeah, Thank it, you if you could. Much. I find that my family are saying, when's it going to be on? When's it going to be on? <laughs> You're a hero, you see. You're a hero. Usually, uh, I should, I should probably Facebook not tell page. <laughs> Facebook page to share it as well. So um, okay. so that'll, that'll get it out again, you see. So we're, we're quite happy with that. So there you go. So and both so Nick and Neil and um, John Boone, thank you very much indeed for speaking with us here on in the cooler. And uh, hopefully, we might even meet sometime. You never know. Well, Peter, yeah, we thank you very much. We've thoroughly enjoyed it, and thank you very much for having us on. Pleasure, yes, thank, thank you. you. And you could always join the U3A yes. locally in Evesham. Yeah, indeed, <laughs> I could. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> bye for now, both. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. That's great. Lovely. Appreciate that. Thank you.